local anesthetic has been administered, Pupotami should be carried out in the most classical way, that is to say, remove the roof of the pulp chamber with a tungsten carbide X-long tapered burr, excise the vital pulp from the chamber with a tungsten carbide endo burr, Shape the pulp chamber with a pear-shaped diamond burr. It is of utmost importance to use high-speed rotary instruments to carry out pulpotomy in order to avoid tearing the pulpal fibers of the root canal. To obtain the required thick and creamy consistency of the paste, the powder and the liquid of Pulpotec should be mixed on a glass slab. Use a large diameter rotary paste filler to place Pulpotec inside the pulp chamber. Make sure all the available space is tightly filled. Fill the tooth with a temporary cement taking care to place a cotton roll between the two dental arches. Request the patient to bite the roll and progressively increase the pressure so that the pulpotec paste clings to the walls of the pulp cavity as well as to the root canal openings. Pulpotec is a preparation intended for the treatment of pulpitis of permanent and deciduous vital molars. There is only one exception to this general principle, which can be applied when infected deciduous teeth can be treated with very good results. One can thus say that using Pulpotec in regular endodontic treatments greatly simplifies not only the practitioner daily work but also the variety of instruments required. We will now proceed to the description of Pulpotomy carried out in various different cases which each present a specific situation. The first case is on a very decayed but still vital 17 stews where accessibility is poor and on which a temporary protective obturation has been placed.